the Arcturian Council, the impact of solo flares of humanity. Channel, Kate Wadley. Hello, our dear ones. We are members of the Arcturian Council. We come with love, and it is always an honor and a privilege for us to bring your wisdom. What we wish to share with you today is some insight, perhaps a deeper and broader understanding, into the impact of the solar flares that you have recently experienced. The Universal Pathway of Energy We will first start by explaining that your sun is interconnected through energy and consciousness to this galactic central sun, which in turn is connected to a central source of light and energy in your known universe. These energies follow pathways and these energies traverse your central sun into the galactic sun and those energies are propagated and sent forth into your sun. As these energies move into your sun, they are filtered in a way that as these energy flares or these solar flares move into the human collective and reach Gaia, they have the exact impact and effect upon humanity and Gaia, as was ordained by the central intelligence, the source light. The solar flares purposefully fall off the eclipse. All celestial events, our dear ones, whether you completely understand them or not, follow a universal law. They each exact an impact an influence that exerts exactly the needed inside energy and understanding for you, for your paths, for your soul's expansion, for your spiritual evolution. We will say that, that the most recent solar flares had in many ways followed your April's eclipse in a very intelligent, ordained, or planned way. As has been mentioned to you in the past, the solar eclipse that had unfolded in April was meant to reorient and realign humanity and the collective towards their path of highest and greatest good. What have resulted from this was a rather intense release of energies, both at the individual and at the collective levels. These energies are sometimes immediately transmuted, but as it is true with all energies, sometimes there is a residual that remains, sometimes they linger. As such, it was the purpose of the soul of Flay to scrub, to complete the clearing and cleansing of any and all energies that remained following the solar eclipse. Many of you, particularly those of whom you are, very open energetically and spiritually, have no doubt felt the emotional and energetic impacts of the eclipse. Many of you continue to feel those impacts until recently. As such, the soul of flares, as is true for all flares, however intense and visible they may, to be humanity, all serve a purpose they bring through the required level of filtered energies. Energies that serve to clear 
and transmute anything that is ready to leave the human collective. Flares prompt massive energetic transmutations. With this most recent solar flare, there was a mass clearing of much collective grief and sadness. And many of you perhaps experienced more concentrated and intense sadness and grief. And we wish for you to understand that this is not all yours. Often what you feel and experience in your hearts is a combination of your energies that is sometimes amplified by the collective energies. Whether those energies are still being held by the collective or whether they are simply moving their way out. Remember that these flares are here to help you release what no longer serves you. And through those releases, you in many ways open and expand your energetic fields to resonate with a higher frequency. As these flares unfold in waves, they catalyze and accelerate the release, and in turn, an expansion. Many of you have experienced an expansion in your energetic field, which at times may be categorized by a temporary retraction. These retractions, in many ways, are simply a preparation for the next release. And in turn, and of greater importance, the next expansion. With every release, you hold greater potential to raise your frequency, to raise your vibration, and in so doing, you then open yourself up and invite higher energies. What now? We will say that there are subtler energies that we will move in. As we have mentioned, they are ordained and they are planned by source love and intelligence to work with you and for you as is needed for your growth. All growth comes with healing. All healing needs a level of surrender and release. And once you let go, you actually open yourself up to embracing and anchoring far more light. It is this light that brings clarity, that reorients you to your path of greatest good. You each have a path and your path is about living your soul's purpose from a place of joy, authenticity and love. Hold this intention and trust the energies will move in and flow through you as they are meant to. We are here and we bring love. The Arcturian Consul